The Hero Journey by Michael Tran My Gamer's Life This is me. I am 24 years old. A student at Rutgers. And I would say I'm a pretty average Asian. I started playing games with StarCraft. Then I moved on to Warcraft 3, TFT, and slowly moved on to MapleStory and a little bit more mainstream games like World of Warcraft and Dota, of course, and League of Legends, and so on and so on. So it's hard to say like what type of game I like, because I have a lot of experience with a lot of different type of games, so it's hard to choose. So. My story begins with a phone call that I received from my friend, Sniper. Hello? Hey, what's up, friend. man? It's played, Sniper. Uh, We're getting messed up in here, man. We're gonna need your help. Oh, Gary's mod. Oh, yeah. And in the game, Gary's mod. You know that one game where the water floods and the boats, and we got the boats, and we gotta defend the boats? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. That All right, I, dude. I highly enjoyed playing with my friend, where you build a ship, you know, you can build a ship with your friend. Uh, you get on the ship, when water fills in the room, if your ship floats or not. If your ship floats, then on the very top, all the other guys who have boats are shooting at you. And uh, your job is pretty much to shoot at their boat. So, I thought it was a pretty cool game. And, uh, as you can see, I kick ass. <laughs> so, when, when my friends get beat up, he usually gives me a phone call and uh, tells me, that he needs some help. That some guys in here is messing with him and whatever. And um, uh, and I'm, I'm I feel like I kind of made up a name my uh, for myself here. As you see at the very top, everyone has ships. You have all different types of guns. For me, that I've been playing for a while, I have all all the guns. It's a very enjoyable game. But you know, every every uh every hero story is gonna have like some sort of conflict. So, I'm playing the server, this guy comes up, he's like, abusing me verbally, and uh, he's just building right next to me all the time, and then, you know, really building, when people build stuff next to you, it causes, pay, like, it, it causes, it takes a, it's hard for you to live, because you guys are just going at it, and this Ricardo just kept yeah, following me, fuck, fuck you, following bitch. me, fuck you. And, this is where I just got fed up. No, I just no, got no, fed no, up I with all this I'm not fucking playing game no more. So, I, I was at a point where, like, you know, I had to go see my friend, see what's going on. Get out of Yo, the house. Yo, Kenny, can I come on up? The room. Sometimes you just need to clear your mind. So, I go see my, uh, my friend Ken, right? And, uh, you know, this place is pretty awesome. Pretty cool guy. He's like, Hey man, I'm just having a hard time, bro, playing games. Every spend yeah. all day playing that field. What's up, brother? Well, Why he's you a little weird. You, you, you see what I'm talking about, but he gives you some solid advice. And he's always a good man to go to for, uh, for issues. Yeah, man, so, dude, I was playing these games, man, getting wrecked online, getting trolled by little kids. I, I just can't win. I haven't won. I just keep fucking losing. I hear you, man. We all have ups and downs, you know, in our gaming careers, but... Hold on. Okay, got it. But, still, um, you know, you just gotta... You gotta dig deep, man. You gotta think about what it is that brings you to that game every single day. And you gotta strive for excellence. I just wanna have fun, man. And I, I, it's not fun losing, man. It's not fun dying and losing, man. No, it's not. However, it's part of the game. Continue to play. Don't ever give up. So what do you reckon me re reckon me do? I reckon you go down there, put on your big boy pants, and you play that fucking game. That's what you do. You piss excellence every day, like me. All right, man. I guess I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna put time. I'm gonna practice. And then when I see that little punk ass kid again, I'm gonna point, fuck man. him he up, man. Oh, you like got that. trolled? Yeah, I, I oh, should I should be like that's here, the worst. Keep Make sure and, you like, get that kid. You just, get that like, kid. I'm depressed about myself. I'm gonna go get that kid. Get that kid. Every stereotype gamer, you know, that they easily are emo. That's why they had to stay online. So, I barge off. I'm upset. I'm I'm gonna go practice and I play and I play and I play and I play some more, blowing people up, beating, getting a little better here and there. Until, you know, I notice 
that uh that uh my schoolwork's piling up, that I'm not spending time with my friends. Like the the stuff that you have to like give up, like the obstacles that you have to go through to commit to a game, to chase down this guy that has made you a f made a fool of you. Ah. I knew it was going to be easy, especially when he's not logging on to get a chance to play with him. I play against him, but oh man, I didn't expect it to be this hard. So, I just kept practicing and practicing and and uh and slowly, you know, I ended up forget almost forgetting about it and built and started building a really tight close knit community with the community and made a lot of allies on the way. I guess that was the only thing that that kept me going after this goal. But I guess what? The story can't end like that. It can't end with the villain running away. The hero got to win. So we finally met each other once again. Obviously still talking shit and all that stuff. And we ended up getting into this really intense battle. As you see, I ended up uh, playing, since I played a lot, I made a lot of allies and I was able to get those guys to help me team on uh, the guy that I wanted to kill and get him out of the server. I mean, they agreed that he was kind of trollish, but he was really good. He was a really good player. Well, yeah, through the whole battling and going through it and, you know, almost dying and this guy's just, like having all these guys help me out and coming down to the very end where we're both in the water trying to survive. It was rewarding, I would say. Watch him die. In conclusion, I won. End up leaving the server and like never coming back. But I guess it was, I guess in the end, like after, man, I'm just glad that, it's I over, man. Up, you know, hey, man. Much all the you games got when I said I had various games yeah, that I played, putting the game down, time, though. Yeah. moving on a lot to, of uh, to hang out with my friends again and do some <laughs> work, of out. course. Yeah. After well, it's good, to get, it's good to be a back hang with you guys and, I think and I'm kind of gamer, all the time. Yeah, I man. Real life's good too, you know? Yeah. I got this girl coming over later. She said I could touch her boobs. Say not so. <laughs> All right, I man. Do your thing. Really All right. Let's have a drink. One. Sounds good. And if there was Cheers, a man. Cheers, man. Yep. Would like to to gunpowder and women. Live by one, die by one. I play to win. I have fun to win. Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a... Just a big, hairy American winning machine.